Welcome to Word Quick Tip. Insert your signature. I'm Trader Lori. What is Insert Your Signature? It helps keep documents electronic so you can insert your scanned signature. If you don't already have it scanned, scan your signature by using a bold pen or marker, use white paper, sign several times to get the best option, leave lots of white space around each signature, aim to sign straight on the paper, scan it at least 200 dpi or higher, and save as a GIF file if you can, for example, lorisig.gif. Then remove background. In Word, go to Insert Picture, Crop around the best one, the one that you like the best. Click and drag to increase the size of the signature, make it bigger so that you can play with it. And then in the picture tools, use Remove Background if you know how to use that tool. I do have another tutorial explaining that. Or under Color, set Transparent Color. That makes the background white or clear, not white, but clear, so that you can put it over a line. Then correct the image if necessary. Under Corrections, use Sharpen to make it as sharp as possible, and then add contrast. I like to add contrast, make it darker, and then add lots of contrast so it really pops. It's really obvious then. Then four, save in Quick Parts. Uh, this is where we probably have never thought about saving it before, but I recommend you do this. First, reduce the size to the normal size. Make it as uh, small as you would normally sign it. Then with the image selected, go to Insert, Quick Parts, drop down. You click the drop down, then select Save Selection to Quick Part Gallery. Then give it a name, like Signature or My Signature or whatever you can remember it as, and then click OK. Number five, use from Quick Parts. So then position your cursor near the signature line in the Word document. You can't generally position it exactly over the signature line, and that's what I'll show you next. But position it near the signature line, then go to Insert Quick Parts drop down, and there will be your signature. Just click it and it will automatically insert, but not in the right place. On number six, we want to wrap the text to position it. So select your signature, go to Picture Tools, Wrap Text, the drop-down, and then select In Front of Text. Move the signature to the correct position. Now you can move it. Uh, prior to that, you can't. It stays in line with the text. This is optional, but if you have to sign it, you probably have to date it too. So you want to go to Insert the text drop-down. Don't choose the just the button. Choose the drop-down and then select Draw Text Box at the very bottom. Click and drag to draw the text box over the date line. I recommend changing the font to a 14-point bold. And then under Drawing Tools, remove Shape Fill and Shape Outline. Make sure it says No Fill, No Outline. And then you just have text. Also, I like to change the font to Comic Sans or some other handwriting looking font so it looks more like I've actually written it. Now you want to make it secure. So you want to hit F12. That's my favorite way to get to Save As. And you want to save it as a PDF. This is optional if your original document is in a PDF and you need to take it back into Word. Open the PDF. In Word, go to Insert, Screenshot, and just hit the drop down. And then select Screen Clipping. That will take you back to the PDF. Click and drag around the text area, and it positions the text area as an image in Word. And now you can go back and insert your signature. Thank you for joining us. If you like it, please subscribe to the Trainer Lori channel, and also click like. Thank you. See you next time.